um, achieve more in the sense to be considered equal to my fellow classmates. So I'm always working hard just to keep my name out there so that I don't slowly just fade into the background because I feel like that's so easy as a minority student at Elon to fade if you're not in the forefront. So when all you hear in the news is of instances in which African American males have committed a crime or have done things that are bad or anything like that or are in jail, you get the perception that most African American males are in jail. And even um, stereotypes such as the one you just um, kind of pointed out are more believable when that's all you see and that's all that's perpetuated within the media. All we want to do is take the chains off. All we want to do is break the chains off, man. All we want to do is be free. All we want to do is be free. I have a couple of my classrooms. There's only three of us in the classroom. And I'm sitting there thinking, like, okay, all three of us are in this class right now, but you're telling me that oh, we're at a predominantly white private institution, but one of us, one of the three of us, is our odds are that we're going, going to jail, or one of the, or two of the six of us are going to go to jail. It's hard to. Like when you said when you said that thinking about that, you're trying to constantly combat it, and I could only imagine if we weren't in a higher education setting, how you could, it could kind of feel like a self fulfilling prophecy. It's kind of like in a sense they're pulling the wool over our eyes. So I think it's really up to us, like you just said, to um, to really live the you know um, outside the stereotype and really break down those barriers and you know make sure we're doing all we can to make sure that you know things like the Trayvon Martin you know case and the Mike Brown case you know are, are very very important. In today's society, mm -hmm. like you can define yourself as an African American male without conforming to what people think African American males should be. Like society is, uh, in a lot of ways, afraid of that black, that black, that successful black man who's educated and knows how to put himself, put him, and properly present himself. I feel like that's why they put all these barriers in, in front of us. You know, it's um, really easy for us to say hey, I'm not like that, so I, it's not an issue that directly affects me. But I think I think it is something that, it's something we should all be engaged in, something that we should all constantly be trying to address as far as like how we carry ourselves, how we actually behave and do things like that. So I think it's definitely something that, it's something we can do, and there's something that we can um, kind of show, put our foot forward and say, hey, not everybody's like that.